All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back with a brand new Blu ray video, Blu ray update for the month of March. I have got a fair bit of titles. Um, I'm going to give you a quickity splickity look um, just to kind of look at how big the hole is without really showing you guys. That's just this is the month. And when I get into them, if you guys didn't see all of them, I will, don't worry. But. There's some expensive titles in this shit, so I kind of went off, um, Easter was over April, I got a big, big Easter pay because I worked like four public holidays, it was fucking awesome, so I'm a bit harder, also the titles that I have that are just regular Blu-ray titles, very, very cheap, and I'll explain that, but let's start off with a couple of DVDs that I always generally have, uh, this is, there's always Woodstock, this movie fucking not that great, um, but it has my favourite celebrity crush, uh, Britney Snow is my girl, She's in this film, and I vowed to buy everything she's in, or at least to try to. Um, so it finally dropped in price. That's her on the back there. Uh, finally dropped in price, and I was like, oh, I was like, it was like four bucks on eBay, and I was like, fuck it, let's go, we'll buy it. Got it. Uh, another one that I bought that I haven't seen for an actress, and that's Emma Stone. Emma Stone, Margot Robbie, and Britney Snow are the three actresses that I try to buy everything for. This one is Paper Man. This is hey, uh, Jeff Daniels, Emma Stone, Ryan Reynolds, and Lisa Kudrow. I have to see this movie. I think it's like a... It's uh, it's like a middle-aged kind of superhero comedy thing. i got to check it out. Um, but let's get into the actual Blu-ray titles, because that's what you're here for. Fuck DVDs. I mean, honestly, fuck Blu-ray. I love Blu-ray, and I really hope it doesn't go away, but 4K is making a push, and I'm very, very scared. Um, we got The Vampire Diaries Season 8. Uh, one of my reviews, or one of my um, updates to Shay said last year, I picked up the first seven seasons of Vampire Diaries. Still haven't watched them, but I finally picked up season eight. Shout out to my guy, Nint. She gave me a heads up on like a sanity deal that was going on. And this was from, it was like 40 bucks, 50 bucks marked at, and it marked down to $9 I picked this one up for. Um, so that was obviously a huge deal. The only TV show I've got for this, uh, this month as well. Great movie, Teen Titans, go to the movies. I had a really, really fun time with this movie. This is one of the ones that I didn't watch in cinemas because I'm not a big fan of Teen Titans Go. Um, the TV show, so I was like, ah, oh, whatever, and I did my, uh, the last two years I've done like an animation kind of review and ranking of the animations of kind of that year, and I was like, I need a couple more, so I watched Teen Titans Go, and it was actually really, really good, I was very pleasantly surprised with this movie, I definitely recommend you checking it out, I just picked it up, so Nin should be watching this, borrow it, because I know your boy Little Yachty's in it, so if you want to borrow it for those, those semi-little lines he has in it as Greenland, by all means. Um, next one I got is the is Project X. Um, this one I picked up because there was no joke. The craziest deals. There was like a three... What was... I don't even know. It was just like... I basically... There was like a 20% off, right? 25% off. And I went to JB Hi-Fi. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money because I picked up a lot of Steelbooks. And I was like, oh, I'll have a look. Went Blu-rays. And I went, Mark... And I filtered it by lowest price to highest price. This thing ended up getting it for $3.00 and 78 cents and that's i was like i, I can't be mad about three dollars eighty so i bought that um just because why not i did certainly enjoy that movie when i watched it originally so i might have to rewatch it moving into one of the the still books we got here and this is the predator still book this is the predator from 2018 last year's uh movie decent still book here um just kind of black I like this art on the front here. The movie itself I did enjoy, but it's not the best, if that makes any sense. Similar to what I just reviewed for Hellboy, that's kind of a similar thing. Um, very, very cool, uh, very s sleek looking steelbook. And I think I picked it up for about 26 bucks um, on eBay. I got a few like sellers, you can like follow a seller, and they do like new release movies, and they do them obviously discounted, and that was one of the ones I got. Now this is the cheapest blur I've ever bought, no exaggeration. Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium, because why the fuck not? I think that's one of the dopest titles ever. Just that Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium just flows out really nicely. Why not buy it? It was actually two dollars eighty. It was the cheap, one of the cheapest Blu-rays you can find on JB Hi-Fi. Like, it's the cheapest price. I think there's like ten movies at the same price, and I was like, fuck it, we're gonna buy this bitch. Two dollars sixty. I bought that for. So why not? Um, another one that I bought, and it was just I was actually in JB Hi-Fi when I bought Teen Titans. I was near a store, going to a store nearby, so I was like, I'll jump in JB Hi-Fi. And I wanted to get Teen Titans. I was like, I had a look in like the $5 bin. This was in there. It follows. This is actually meant to be a really, really good uh, horror movie. I really want to check this out, but I don't like watching horror movies by myself. So I've got to wait till someone comes over and is willing to watch it with me. Now, backstory on this one. Got a lot of backstories in this, bitch. 
uh, Creed 2, The Steelbook. Now, before I get into the backstory, this is a nice looking steelbook there. I like how clean, white, awesome, obviously Creed and Rocky on the front there. And then nice back art there, looking really cool. And then just the name. That's basically all you can want out of a, out of a steelbook. Not overdoing it, nice sleek colors good spine that's what i liked and i actually got this very very cheap i'll tell you how cheap free uh <laughs> so basically the seller that i bought it off uh ended up messing up the delivery and i ended up getting this sent to another address they felt bad they refunded me i was like yeah no stress and then it ended up coming to this address and i could have been the good guy and said uh you know heads up you, you send it to me anyway I could pay for it whatever but they did say I'm gonna to try to send it to you anyway so I think they were just being really nice and gave it to me for free because they felt bad that they stuffed up the whole thing so shout out to you whoever you are you got me a free steely and I'll always take that plus that was only like 26 bucks again from like one of the new release cheaper deals on eBay always new and sealed um, Wrath of the Titans is obviously the sequel to Clash of the Titans that I've forgotten about. I've owned Clash for a very, very long time. This is $3.80, the same price as, um, as one of the movies in there that I can't see. Project X and this next one as well, uh, the campaign. I mean, they're cheap. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Wrath. I haven't watched Wrath. I actually do enjoy Clash, but a lot of people don't. Campaign is actually a bit of fun. So I bought them both very, very, very cheap. The last three are all steelbooks. All very, very nice. Avengers Infinity War. I've been after this steely book for a very long time. I legit was... My, my playing with steel books is, oh, okay, they're 40 bucks. Sometimes they're 50. I think this is in the 50. And I was like, okay, I'll wait until the first 20% off, which usually there's always 20% off, at least if it's for a day or whatever, within the first month. And I was like, oh, I'll snatch it up for 20% off. This thing went out of print like two days after it got released. People pre-ordered it and then you can get it, I think, for like maybe one or two days. So I've been waiting for a good seller, an Australian seller, to sell it to me. This was brand new, which I was even more hyped for because it's hard to find brand new steelbooks when they've already been released. Um, but they didn't open it. They hung on to it. I don't like that there's no title on the actual front, but the cool art with Thanos there is awesome. And I think I ended up spending like 70 bucks on this, which is crazy to say about a steelbook, but when it went new release for 50 bucks, if it's now out of print, it's obviously going to be more, so 70 bucks isn't huge. I actually pre-ordered Endgame already because I'm like, yo, I'm continuing this uh, this phase three. I think I've got most of the steelbooks. Up to like Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I've got every single MCU steelbook, and I'm going to continue that, so I'm like, I'm not going to get Endgame. I have to get Endgame, so I pre-ordered it for 50, even though I don't want to pay that much, but I'm going to have to. Um, another one that's a bit earlier than Guardians, and I've got another one, Iron Man 3. This is actually Avengers Age of Ontron. Um, if I can get all the MCU steelbooks, I'll take them. I'm looking out for them, but a lot of them are out of print. Not, I mean, I think all of them are out of print now, but then a lot of them are hard to find. Um, Age of Ultron, I like this as A. It would have been nice to have a font, but I get it because it's the logo, so that's at least the logo. You've got Ultron on the back there looking very sleek. The ship bit, you got the characters there instead of the name, which is always a bummer for me, but I've got two of the three Avengers steelbooks. The, the first Avengers is very, very hard to find, and I will find... I'll get in game when it comes out. So I've got maybe, if there's 22 movies, I think I've got maybe eight or nine steelbooks we're looking at. So maybe 10, but close to half. So I'm going to cheap kind of build on that and I'm going to have to forward out a lot of money for it. That one, I think I only spent about 40 bucks, which is not crazy, especially because it's out of print and it was new sealed. So I'm happy with that. And the one that literally came today, I filmed right after I got it. And this is Aquaman steelbook. This is new release. Another one of the new release cheaper ones. I got it. Got it for 26 bucks. This is really nice. I like this coloring. This looks really, really nice. Logo there, tick. Um, uh, I like the OG suit, little kind of poking out with the trident. Very, very nice here on the back. And then, of course, you got the cool ass name. Give me the name on the spine, and I'm always going to be happy. Um, and the inside art's pretty dope as well, which I never show you guys, which I apologize for. It just takes too long. Um, but I think I might be doing a separate video with that and a kind of pop collection that I'm going to kind of piece together a kind of steelbook and pop video and I'll kind of show you guys what I mean when the first one is released. I've got a few videos that I'm going to kind of work on um, that are just not new release reviews because I think my last four videos are new release for you reviews. I'm working on a Game of Thrones video at the moment. I'm working, I did a filmed a video with Ninch that I've slowly been editing bit by bit um, and there's just tons of stuff I'm going to kind of film all at once or film bits of and release a bit later. Ninch I filmed with about three weeks ago. So maybe, you know, uh, no rush to get these things out because they're not 
pieces that need to be released on the time like the new release are so with gaps in the channel um, I definitely will release I got another video coming out on Friday I'm deciding which video I'm gonna put out but I got another video on Friday coming this one my first video of May and then we'll get back into the new release reviews I think detective Pokemon is probably the next movie I'm gonna see but that's enough jabbering hope you guys enjoy this video if you've never seen it before press that subscribe button it really goes a long way um, it's always awesome to see those subs going up as well as the likes if you like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what you're watching Comment if you want to comment, but of course, guys, have a good one.